Hi everybody, Casey Zander here, and in today's video, I'm going to give you three specific psychology hacks that you can use on yourself to start to move the needle forward in your business, in your purpose, in your financial life, and ultimately make the most of yourself so you can live a life of financial freedom. Before I get into this, here's what we have to do. You and I have to make an agreement, okay? The agreement is that you have to commit yourself to being financially free. Okay, if you can make that commitment, I want you to comment, I agree, down below this video, and here's why. Until you commit to the day of saying, listen, it's my duty to ensure that I have enough income to succeed, it's my duty to ensure that I have enough income to live the life of abundance that I want, you're going to be tied to doing work multiple hours per day for the rest of your life. Okay, and I don't think any of us want that. So tune into this whole video end to end because I'm going to be showing you specific psychology hacks that actually will make you a millionaire, make you successful, and help you on your journey. So this whole topic and this whole conversation brewed or stemmed specifically from a conversation I was having with a friend who was over at my house yesterday. So if any of you follow my big channel, which is Casey Zander, you already know that we just had our first ever headman merchandise drop. This is the first time I've ever dropped t-shirts, I had some hats, and I wanted to do it for the fans and the past customers that we've acquired. But here's the thing, my personality and what I do in business with promoting and product development, I've always needed kind of like a, a, a operator, okay? And the, the friend I was talking to is highly operational, right? He likes tasks, he likes busy work, okay? And these sorts of things, every business is made up of a group of people, right? And business is about people and it's understanding your own strengths and weaknesses and knowing where to hire and when to hire. And I'm trying to coax him a little bit. I'm trying to convince him to come aboard with me on this journey to kind of build out this merchandise and kind of like help me do some of this stuff. And I was, I was showing him the incentives of how this could really actually help him. Okay, but what he said right away is he, he said something that stood out to me and he's like, ah, he goes, this sounds like it'll take a long time before this pays off. And I just had to kind of sit there for a second and I had to almost like change his belief sets in order to get him to realize how money making actually works. And then I even went a step deeper and I realized how money making worked to myself. And these are three specific mental models and mental frameworks that I had to use and abide by as, I was, as I've been building my business over the past eight to 10 years now. So with that said, we're going to transition downstairs to the whiteboard. I'm gonna show you three specific hacks that will help you. And rest assured, this is the keys to success. So let's head downstairs. Okay, the three psychology hacks you want to use as a business person, businessman, right? You're, you're out doing business ventures, you wanna live the life of financial freedom, you want to live life on your own terms, you want your time back, I got you, I've been there. Okay, is the mic on by the way? Mm-hmm. Okay, you want that, I understand. There is three specific things we have to teach and there is three specific agreements we have to come by and if you do not follow these to a T, there is no way in hell you're going to have the level of success you want and typically you're gonna be tied doing things that you don't, tied to doing things that you don't want to do. The very first thing that you have to have is crazy, stupid, stubborn work ethic. If something works and you see even just the slightest amount of success in it, like you get your first sale, right? Or you get your first 100 customers, or you see that you ace product market fit, and all you have to do is learn the methods to scale this puppy, you have to beat your head against the wall repetitively for years and years to make your thing work. You have to stay narrow in one thing, okay? Most people who I've came across who are extremely talented or have a lot of skills, or you can just tell like they're smart in a lot of areas, the problem is they never go narrow. They never go deep in one specific thing. They dabble. They dabble in this industry. They dabble in that industry. They have this hobby. They have that hobby. They have that hobby. They have that product line. They have that product line. And they are now mediocre at all of them. Okay. People do not understand the depth and most specifically the volume. This is the right word for this. The volume that it takes in one thing. Crazy, stupid, stubborn work ethic in one thing where you, are, you will almost have caveman level stupidity to beat your head against the wall every single day at the exact same thing until it works. And I don't care if that takes one month. I don't care if that takes one year. I don't care if that takes five years. I don't care if that takes 10 years. Life is long and it requires volume to get good at specific things. Okay, volume. What does going deep mean? Okay, going deep means that you're willing to do the reps in the industry that it takes that you claim you want to be successful at, okay? Everybody only sees the end picture or the end product. And what I mean by that is like, when I launched the MBT webinar, okay, everybody's like, oh my God, you have almost 3,000 customers in there. That must've been a huge hit. 
they didn't see that for two years I had to bust my ass and basically do 14 webinar iterations in order to learn how to actually make that puppy convert and make people want to be part of it. Each webinar iteration is a slide deck of 500 and takes probably an entire month to two months to produce. If you look at that, that is over two years of specifically dialing, dialing in one product, one offer, one fit. That's hard. You have to have caveman level stupidity to go deep and narrow in one specific thing to get really good at it. That's number one. You have to do the boring work over and over and over until it works. And that's just the cold hard truth. Number two, okay, you have to practice delayed gratification. So this is a little bit harder one to do just from the mindset that most people are in. And the reason being is because people want instant success because we're used to getting things instantly. Okay. In the old days, you had to go hunt and kill your food. Now you can hit DoorDash and have it in 30 minutes. In the old days, you have to go out and you have to ask a girl out on a date. Now you can have a Tinder match in six seconds. Do you understand this? People are used to getting things much faster. Speed has became something that's true and that's prevalent. However, in business, okay, you can be fast to some extent, but you have to understand that speed, like oftentimes if you can become a millionaire in three years, I would consider that fast. However, most people nowadays can't focus for three seconds, let alone three years. You have to delay your gratification. So you have to say, hey, this month we only made 2K in profit, but guess what? The way that this is snowballing, the way that I'm going to bed each night and leveling up my skills, the 1%, the 2%, the way I'm putting in the volume through the reps, eventually this is going to be 4K a month. And eventually that's going to be 8K a month. And eventually that's going to be 16K a month and so on and so forth. And your income actually starts to rise. But until you have the delayed gratification, until you're willing to suffer and not see the fruits of your labor, until it uh, until months or even years manifest and go into existence it's going to be very hard to have success in anything if you think about this real quick tom brady played football for multiple years okay those multiple years he increased his skill set and it snowballed jay-z rapped for 20 years that skill set snowballed everything that you want to do you're going to have to go deep in a specific area and a topic and you're going to have to practice delayed gratification number three is the most powerful Okay, and this stems into comparing yourself to most people. You have to understand that most people are broke, but Instagram and the media and everybody else doesn't portray anything that way. You have to understand most people don't have a lot of money and that's okay. Here's another thing that stems into that. Every single time that somebody sees somebody who's made millions or been successful in business, you will typically hear things like, oh, they, I always hear that they have seven business streams. I always hear that they have seven income streams. Or you might look at these millionaires, you might look at these people who made it in business and you say, why does it look so easy for them? And why was their YouTube channel able to pop off? Why was their Facebook group able to pop off? Why was their product market fit able to scale? Okay, and what you're seeing is you're seeing an end byproduct. Okay, you are not seeing the sweat equity that it takes. I'm gonna use myself for an example, not to talk too much about myself, but you have to understand this for a second. With MBT, if you go into that product right now and you see the 3,000 customers, you're going to sit there and think, oh man, dude, dude really popped off in that. That's not how it worked at all. I had to bust my bag for years and years and years to make that thing work. You didn't see the sweat equity. So when you see millionaires give you the two minute elevator pitch telling you how they built your business, you are not seeing the 5, 10, 20 years of grind work they had to put in to get there. And in order to accept that fact that people aren't as successful as you think, you have to realize 99% of most people are pretty much broke. And that's okay. Which means that every 1% micro incremental skill set you acquire, you are now up leveling your success. And with due time, with delayed gratification, and with crazy, stupid, stubborn work ethic, you too will be successful. If you like this video, I want you to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.